Well, it looks as if Tory Lanez is about to walk. He's about to get off because things is really coming to light. There's a lot of lies that's been that was told. There was a lot of crying. Uh, there was a lot of accusations, but it looks as though uh, Tory Lanez was telling the truth. Uh, Meg Thee Stallion's former best friend Kelsey Harris, you know, she took the, she took to the stand uh, on the fourth day uh, of this high-profile case, you know, and she talked about uh, during during Harris' previous turn on the stand on Wednesday, Megan's former friend and assistant failed to recall much of the September 22nd interview she did with Deputy District Attorney Kathy Ty and Alexander Bott. Uh, and another investigator. Ultimately, she testified that parts of the interview during which she gave a detailed account of what happened the night of the shooting more than prior, more than two years prior, weren't accurate. They weren't accurate, making one of the <laughs> of the day's most surprising turn. After grilling Harris on Wednesday about her contention that she hadn't seen Lane shoot Megan on the night of the incident. Pros prosecutor Ty uh, tried again, asking Harris directly if Megan had been shot. Her team told her team told me to step on glass. Replied Harris, who wore a black mock turtleneck dress and black stilettos with the same up the up the do she wore the day prior. Ty then followed up with an even more direct question: Who shot Meg? Leading Harris to reply, I don't know. Harris and Megan's, and remember, she took the Fifth Amendment. She so she could take where, where so she would get an immunity for the for getting on the stand and making the statements that she's making. Harris and Megan now a strange friendship has been one of the focal points of the closely watched trial, and this dissolution following the shooting was uh, covered extensively during both days of Harris' testimony. On day one, Harris, who became a Grammy-winning rapper uh, uh, assistant in 2019 described the origins of the Los Angeles chapter of their friendship. Nothing that nothing that she left her native uh, uh, in Houston 2020 to live with Megan in an Airbnb in Los Angeles. But in the wake of the shooting, she says she became confused when Megan's teams booked her a flight back to Texas. I was in a hotel for about two weeks, she explained. I made a point that I had that I had nowhere to go. Megan then set her up with a new living situation, Harris said, noting it was the only time they'd been in contact since the incident. Harris testified on Thursday that the two women haven't seen each other in person since the night of the shooting. God darn. Something Megan also confirmed during the previous testimony. Also, on Thursday, Harris testified she was the subject of harassment following, Megan, following Megan's July 15, 2020 Instagram post just days after the shooting in which the savage rapper wrote, look at the savage rapper wrote, that she suffered gunshot wounds as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with the intention to physically harm me. Harris claimed that the harassment came about because Megan suggested that Harris took hush money from Lane's. So now everything is starting to unravel. They're turning on each other. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's going crazy. I believe she needs to be held accountable for spreading false information, Harris said. So Harris is on a Harris is on a panel saying, listen, she needs to be held accountable. She's lying. She's spreading false information. Everybody's in trouble. <laughs> during, during Thursday's testimony, Ty continued to press Harris on whether Lanes had threatened her or paid her money prior to the trial, leading Harris to visibly shrink in her seat. This line of questioning drew a reaction from the love singer, dressed in a burgundy suit and black turtleneck with black velvet loafers, who rubbed, who rubbed his gold tee and leaned in as Ty grilled Harris. At this point, whether Harris either intimidated or paid her off, Harris was inconsistent. At one point during cross-examination by, by uh, Lane's lead attorney, George uh, Madison, Harris said forcefully, I would like to make it very clear that Lane's never bribed nor threatened her. However, when Madison later asked 
did my client offer you one million? Harris replied, I can't remember that. She couldn't remember, family. After being true, are you being truthful right now? Mega, uh, uh, Madison responded, yes, said Harris. What did become clear during cross-examination was that Harris didn't fully understand the scope uh, of her use of immunity, meaning nothing derived from her testimony may be used against her in a criminal proceeding that was offered to her by prosecutors ahead of her testimony on Wednesday. When the defense questioned whether she genuinely understood that even with the use of immunity, she could face serious legal consequences if she perjured herself in court. Harris took a break, stepped stepping into the hallway with her attorney, David A. Nardoni, to discuss the issue. Throughout, throughout Harris' uh, testimony on Thursday, the defense attorneys grew visibly annoyed at her failure to recall much of the night of the shooting. With the witnesses, with the witness continuously blaming the alcohol she consumed at Kylie Jenner's house, where she, Megan, and, uh, and Lanes had begun hanging out prior to the shooting, for her fuzzy memory. When asked if she had ever heard anyone shoot, uh, shoot, dance, a phrase Megan says, Lance yelled at her just before shooting her, uh, shooting her in the foot. Harris replied, "I don't know where that came from." So no. During the prosecutor's redirect, Harris also claimed to be unfamiliar with an alleged text exchange between her and Megan, screenshots of which were shown in court. In that exchange, someone asked the other, someone asked the other if she should go to urgent care. My chest is hurting. Pressure I have, a heart murmur. I don't know. It's being triggered. My left side, back. And neck hurt, but that's from the fighting and him dragging me out of the car by my hair. Uh, the message read: When Ty asked Harris if she had sent uh, the text to uh, Megan, Harris replied, "I don't believe so." Online, online, Harris did confirm uh, uh, from her from her was the freeze. I'm taking shots at your at your bi. I'm busting you. That's the lyric from that's the lyric from Harris song "Busting Back," released under her under her name, performing name Kelsey Nicole, recited by Madison during uh, recross examination. Harris answered that the song was a response to Mega's own diss track "Shots Fired" before smirking. I'm sure you're aware of how rap lyrics go. So this stuff is man, this stuff has been going on for some time now. Uh, it's you know, we don't see Meg The Stallion be interviewed by Oprah Winfrey's girlfriend, and she's on there crying. They was taking Tory Lanes uh, through all kinds of charges. Uh, Lanes faces three felony charges in the case: assault with a semi-automatic firearm, carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. The latter of which was added to the list of charges ahead of the trial last week. If convicted of all three counts. He faces up to 22, he finished up to 22 years. Man, this is it's crazy, but it's coming out, man. You know, stuff is stuff is coming to light. And I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all is glam, uh, glamorized by this fake street life. This fake street life. But there's a flip side to that, man. That rap stuff is fake. You guys need to need to like get in the real world, man, and just just stay out of the foolishness. But this girl is lying to save her career. Uh, they try to put this brother in jail, man. And, and, the, and the girlfriend that was in the car, girlfriend said, I can't recall what happened. I don't know what happened. So um, this is just part of, this is some of the story as the trial still goes on. We'll see uh, what happened when the verdict come through. But I'm going to cut this one short here. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share to the George Making Experience. Leave your comments in the comment section. And remember, I love y'all. Till the next time, peace.